Hi Celine. Um, I want to create video for you, cause, um, ah uh, yeah, I see that you love to watch my video, and um, I can see that you really, I believe that what I'm saying that you really um eager to know about the Bible, the truth about um your our heavenly father creator um the great i am and yeshua yeah that is good that is the holy spirit is teaching you as i say when i'm saying to you it is the great i am and yeshua is teaching you because this is the principle of life i'm gonna just repeat Repeat, repeat that phrase again and again because that is the true way of um, things that happen in human being life, you see. So, Celine, um, um, you uh, you sing your song, your original song, isn't it? At well. God talent WGT in 2018 isn't it who I am okay now Yeshua is revealing to you because you know or uh, Yeshua know that your heart is a heart that have been choose I mean you your heart you your soul you are a person that are willing to um, to accept the truth so he revealed to you and by firstly inspired you to question to question about the creator I mean like where is the creator where who is creator who is um, make all things you see so during you compose your song you not really understand what you are composing but actually now it is revealed to you okay that is when you're at the edge of 11 now you are at the edge of 16 so this is your anatomy equal wall you said when you sing and you met your equal wall yeah I want to learn Mandarin I really love I'm uh, my father is a Chinese. My mother uh, is one of the tribe here, one of the I would say a kind of the local people here. I mean, there's a lot of Chinese here. I think Chinese is everywhere, isn't it? In the world, they migrate. But I think Chinese, our homeland is the mainland China. So you are Chinese and me are Chinese. Half of my blood is Chinese. So Celine, okay, let's go to the Bible. You see, I want you to open at um, the book of Exodus. Okay, Exodus. Exodus. Okay, the book of Exodus, Celine. Exodus. Okay, the second book. The second book of this Bible. Okay, go and open there. And go to chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3 when the prophet Moses okay the prophet Moses at the Mount of Sinai when Moses met the Creator okay met the Creator which is uh, the Christian people call the Creator God God 
even those not Christian also call him God. G O D God. Even in the Bible, you find out that the term God has been using everywhere, isn't it? So maybe you have question. Then why, why his name is I am, and maybe you never heard that. Uh, people talking that God's name is I am, as I'm telling you. So this is a secret about those who have been called. This is one of the evidence that you, Selin Tam Si Kwan, have been choose to be, to be, to be one of those that gonna be. I would say the term purified. Purified or sanctified, you know that word means purified. P U P U R I F I E D. P U R I F I E D. And in other words, I think almost the same meaning. Sanctified. S S A N T I F I E D. S A N T I F I E D means it's like to clean, you know, to um, to remove um, dirty thing. So I mean, we human being, we naturally are actually a bad person. You see, Selin, everyone is bad. Please don't look me as a good person. Everyone is bad. Um, I mean, everyone is not good. Everyone is evil because I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you more about this later. That's why we see all around us are bad people, but but we can be a good people. We can be, but how to become a good person? There's only one way, which is through believing in that one person. Which is Yeshua, because this one person, one person, one person called Yeshua, is the only person who are perfectly good, righteous, and holy, because he is a man, but also he is creator. I think we can use the term God. He is man and God at the same time. So, and that's why he come to this world to be to teach people how to become righteous, and that's how answer that whoever that believe in Yeshua, accept Yeshua and believe that Yeshua is is truly a God and also a man. And his purpose, his duty to come to this world is to die. Actually, he died on the cross. That it was you have been uh, hearing, isn't it? Even before I, even before you know about Bible, after I give you the Bible, um, people are talking about uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has been died on the cross for the salvation of man. But it is true. It is true. Okay. Our only way to be saved, to be saved, mean to be saved from our evil mindset, evil feeling, evil desire, evil act, evil whatsoever, is through believing in Yeshua, and that means is believing in everything about the Bible because the Bible is. The words W O R D W O R D. The words mean every single words in this Bible. It is like kinds of manifestation. It's a kind like a revelation about a person called Yeshua. So when we read this with a uh, 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 honest heart, mean we're gonna just like you know um, read the Bible and try to understand, like you know. Um, focusing and put our heart on what we are reading, and then through the the understanding, it just like 
You know, it's just like, it's a true thing that the Holy Spirit go into our hearts and rebuild ourselves to become a good person. It is not by our own strength, but it is the power of the Holy Spirit. We don't realize that. We don't really like um, how it works, huh? But people all around you are going to realize, hey, why Celine is stuck? I mean, change. There's something happened to you, Celine. Why you are like, you are like this and you are become more, um, I mean, uh, be careful in your life. And I think it looks different now. It's not like, you see, like me. Uh, when I start reading the Bible, memorize the Bible, and there's a kind of power in me, not from me, but from Elohim, I mean, from Yeshua, the great I am, changing my way of thinking, changing my feeling, changing my, you know, taste, everything, and my passion start to like more good things rather than the bad things, you see. Can you get what I'm telling you, Sally? <laughs> Never mind, slowly, I think you will get it. Okay, let's go back to this. So, Exodus chapter 3, Exodus chapter 3. Okay, let's go and see. Uh, Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. Okay, this is a very interesting why I said it? Because it's really related to you. I believe anything that related to you, you're going to be like, like excited, isn't it? When you sing that song, Who I Am, and Yeshua is start putting a kind of passion in your heart because he loves you. He know that, Yeshua know that you are going to be one of the, one of those righteous person. People among the 144,000. I'm going to talk more about the 144,000 soon. Okay, let us concentrate on this verse first. So, Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. Okay, please listen, Helen. And God said, okay, st see the words God still have been using here. I'm going to just explain to you that also why the words God is been using in the Bible. Okay, but, okay, listen to this. Exodus chapter 3 verse 14 and God said to Moses okay in the Mount of Sinai this is a reality things event that have happened have been documented a true history book and God said to Moses I am who I am okay because on the previous verse Exodus chapter chapter 3 Chapter 3, verse 13. Okay, listen. Then Moses said to God, to God, Exodus chapter 3, verse 13. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and said to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they said to me, What is his name? And what shall I say to them? Okay. When Moses met God in the Mount of Sinai during this time, it's about, if I'm not mistaken through my research, it's about three more than 3,000 years ago. 3,000 years ago in the land of somewhere at the Palestine or in between Egypt and Palestine land now. Mount Sinai still exists there now. Okay. I repeat the verse before the 14, uh, before God answered to Moses about his name. Okay. Because Moses asked God about his name. Okay. I repeat these words. I keep on repeating it so that you will understand. Sorry. Uh, I'm quite fast in talking compared to my previous video. I think it is because I'm quite excited in <laughs> teaching you the truth. You see, uh, even in many of your song, it's like a prophecy for you. You see, you 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 sing, "You're my flashlight, you're my flashlight." Whoa, whoa! You see, Selin, it is a prophecy. I am your flashlight. I am your flashlight, and now it's happening to you. 
you're gonna be to to be your equal war you going to be your equal war your anatomy okay exodus 3 chapter 13 again i'm repeat then moses said to god in it when i come to the children of israel and said to them the god of your fathers and has sent me to you and they said to me what is his name what is his name what shall i say to them you see moses is a uh, an an hebrew a hebrew a jews the chosen people previously but now is no more because they have betrayed the great i am so selling moses asked the creator how about if the people the israelite people ask me how about his name what is his name so now i'm revealing to you about what the creator said to moses i think he's saying to you also what is his name okay exodus chapter 3 verse 14 and god said to moses i am who i am it's very clear isn't it selling it's very very clear when you compose your song you sing who i am 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 this is not meant to be who i am you repeat that phrase who i am is this it is a question who i am is this a question there should be a question mark after and that the phrase who i am so now at this moment the creator your heavenly father who know your heart since you are small your child he know that you are listening to the holy spirit that's why you have a good heart until you become a teenager now um you have practiced a good moral conduct since you are small you are being generous you are being kind you are being obedient to daddy steve mama agnes you love your sister dion you are you know a very responsible child responsible student and that's why i mean that is the work of the holy spirit in your heart even though you're not yet christian the holy spirit can work in anyone doesn't matter whether they whatever religion they can be the holy spirit can work whether a buddhism a buddhism person a hinduism or free thinker whoever even a very uh, evil person in yeah i mean in a good person who willing to to repent to be a good person so you are one of them so you have been chosen to know the creator so Celine, again god said to moses i am who i am so now your question since you are at the age of 11 being answered now that i am who i am so your question is who i am who is that i am who is that i am i am is the creator yes your father as i said to you the other video there's two creator yeshua and his father named i am so that is your father my father yeshua father so um selin um um i think i don't want to make too long this video so i end this video by um read again this verse okay exodus chapter 3 verse 13 and 14 then moses said to god indeed when i come to the children of israel and said to them the god of your fathers has sent me to you and they said to me what is his name what shall i say to them um the next verse 14 and god said to moses 
I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall, you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Okay? I am has sent me to you. So, God name is I am. So, okay, so for now, Celine, um, thank you for listening and put your heart on this so-called maybe uh, Bible teaching to you. Um, this is um, a kind of the most important things in life. Learning the Bible. By learning the Bible, we, we can really know everything that the Creator wants us to know. Because the Creator and Yeshua have to fully write toward us. He the one that created us. And He's going to give every single blessing to those who are obedient to Him. And you are one of that. You are one of, one of them that are obedient to to him and me so Celine don't worry about your dream about your passion you want to be a greatest you want to be a singer I'm the one that put that phrase greatest singer but you will become a greatest singer you have to understand there's no impossibility in creator you see in Yeshua in the great I am as long as you have faith faith means you believe something that are impossible but you have in your heart that that's going to happen so that is faith so what you have is faith so what is happening now and now i'm your someone that loves you so much and now i know you love me so much that also a miracle you see uh the path where for your more success in your career as a singer and maybe other field selling. So don't worry. Um, yes, you have used me to be your channel of big blessing for you. Okay, so bye. Get me, get me to the night. Cause I'm your flesh light. I'm your flesh light. Oh. oh, oh. I love that song. I mean, when I sing, uh, no, I mean, when you sing that song, wearing that so beautiful dress, yellow, uh, I don't know, I mean, I don't feel that song is is a cover cover song. I, I think it's your song. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is your song. It's not Jesse's song, <laughs> but never mind. Okay, Celine, bye. I love you so much. I miss you. I want you. Bye.